Hello YouTube, welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. I'm Yolanda, the mother of the Big King Family. I'm here today with a Walmart grocery delivery haul. I use Walmart delivery because it definitely saves on time. Today I have been out doing other things and getting some other stuff done. When I got here at the house, my groceries are right at the door. They send you a notification. So normally when they send me my notification, if I'm already doing something, I head on to the house in order to meet the guy. Because I like to tip um, the drivers in cash instead of on my card. All right. So, but if you're interested, in Walmart grocery delivery and you are a busy mom just like I am and wife and everything else you wear a lot of hats you may want to save yourself some time by using Walmart grocery delivery and you can sign up with my link and on your first haul or your first Walmart grocery delivery order you will receive a $20 off coupon you'll save $20 off it'll be in the email that you signed up for Walmart grocery delivery with okay so uh, that link will be in the oh, first comment, head. pinned in the first comment on this video. Today, my grocery haul, it kind of went sideways, but it definitely ended up just how the Lord wanted it to end up. Um, about I had about 9 to 10 rebates. I bought a rebates on here. That's another way I save money on my grocery hauls each week is that I use uh, a bada and I get cash back on items that I normally buy um, but about most of the items that I put on here for the rebate they no longer had I think I only got two rebates and I think one of those are messed up because they gave me uh, um, they gave me a substitute get somebody out the freezer y'all saw behind me I'll do the bugs all in the freezer all right if you guys want to sign up for our body and save money on every grocery haul that you get because they they are connected with lots and lots of stores and but they actually will connect to your Walmart account. So if you're doing Walmart grocery delivery, you can save on our buy that also. So uh, my code will be also in the first comment on this video, pinned in the first comment on this video, and also in the description. Let's get on into this grocery haul. Even though man, they 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 said they didn't have they said they didn't have any water today. That's one thing that was kind of weird. They said they didn't have any water today, or then they're not allowing people to just grab a bunch of cases of water online or whatnot so after i do this video i'm headed out to sam's club just right after i do this video i i'm gonna go, i'm gonna go eat a little lunch with doing but i'm taking the wendy's getting one of the little the kid meals or whatnot then i'm gonna go to sam's club and then um yeah i have a sam club haul for you guys sooner than later all right you guys because i couldn't get any water on walmart delivery and um most of the I bought a rebate items, they said they were not in stock or else they substituted them out. All right, let's get on into this haul, you guys. I got me some cold right here to drink. It has been 100 degrees plus every day here in Alabama. It must be some kind of heat wave going on. This right here is almost done. I, I got to give me some more ice and drink before I get up out of here, though. All right, guys, let's get into the haul. Okay, you guys, I did get these boneless chicken breasts. These are on meal plan this week, and they were only $6.89. I got 1.73 pounds for that price. Almost two pounds for six eighty nine. Don't know if that's a really good deal or not, but I was glad to get these thin sliced um, boneless chicken breasts right I here. I got a pack of this Sargento. It's starting to melt down a little bit, so I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. But I got a pack of these Sargento natural cheese, medium cheddar, uh, sliced cheese. I want to do like some sandwiches or something this week on um, meal plan. Um, I do have those uh, hamburger, um, um, like you put them in between your hamburger. Um, little papers i have never used them now is my chance to use them with this cheese because when i tend to freeze this cheese and uh when i freeze it and i put it in the freezer and take it out it, it tends to crumble up i don't care what kind it is kroger kind sargento kind craft kind it seems to always crumble up so i am going to separate this out before i put it into the freezer so i got this this was one of my um i bought a rebate um, items, but they gave me the natural cheese instead of the creamery cheese. So I will not be getting that dollar back. I got two cans of this black top pink salmon. I do not know what black top salmon is, but I hope it's pretty much like regular salmon. I got two cans of this salmon this week and um, they substituted, I think the, the Alaskan salmon with the black top salmon or what, I don't know what kind I was getting, but they gave me these two cans of salmon. I got two of these blueberry cheesecake muffin mix. I just wanted to get them. They say just add milk. Blueberry cheesecake. Don't that sound so good? I got so many muffin mixes and um, brownie and cake and um, 
cookie mixes. I think I'm pretty well stocked up on my little desserts and stuff. I still have not done that monkey bread, you guys. But when I do the monkey bread, I will definitely uh, record that. Because that's something I've always wanted to try to go ahead and do for myself. I've had it before, but I've never actually made it myself. So, okay, then. Um, so, I did get two of these. These, these are pretty cheap, like $1.08 each. Not bad at all. I might get a couple of these at a time to put into the pepper pantry. You just add milk, but you can also use water if you, you don't have the milk. I got this great value party size uh, potato chips right here to go with the dip that we got last week. We still got, I uh, know we got at least one container of it left. Basically, y'all, it's the Dean's, um, like, I think it's fried pickle dip, and then the other one is potato skin dip, and both of them pretty much just taste like sour cream dip. Like, you know, the, the sour cream and onion dip, it pretty much tastes like that to me. And I like it. I like sour cream and onion dip, but it's nothing I'm going to buy on a regular occasion. So I got it for $0.96 cent with the I Buy the Rebate. That dip was a good deal. I still got one more container in there. So I got a, a big old thing of chips in order to continue to finish off that dip. Ooh, I know y'all saw it. The Emperor Butter. I did get some of the Emperor Margarine. Excuse me. I got some of the Emperor Margarine and... um. I'm just gonna use it. I'm low on butter, but today I'm supposed to go to Sam's Club, so I will probably get that big four pack of butter from Sam's Club. All right, because we run around here on a very, very slim budget, but I'm gonna go today and see what else I can get at Sam's Club because that bulk buy really do help uh, supplement your groceries in the house. All right, so, but I did get this to put on standby. We will use it, believe that. This pretty big thing of uh, strawberries. This is your two pounds. I believe it's your two pounds of strawberry. So I was glad to get this. Uh, the last couple of grocery hauls, I haven't been able to get, I haven't been getting anything but the bananas. I got these uh, strawberries right here and I really want to get some grapes today while I'm at Sam's Club. So Lord's willing that'll be in the budget because sometimes the grapes, you know, I go in, I'm thinking I'm going to get it for $4.98, but sometimes it'd be like $7.98, $8.98. We will see. We will see. And these strawberries, they look pretty good. But that would make need to get a little more ripe. I'm going to wash them up and do them up. I got these great value uh, family size lemon cookies. You know, I love these lemon cookies. The last couple of times I did not get them on the grocery haul. This is just a great little snack for the kids. I give them two after dinner and let them just roll. All right, so I got the lemon cream cookies. They used to make these in peanut butter cream, like, and I haven't seen that in a long time. So I guess I have to just deal with the lemon. And all the other ones are really good, but my most favorite is the peanut butter one, but I'll take lemon and the other ones any day. Y'all, I got a thing of pinto beans. Yes, pinto beans is on. I haven't made pinto beans this year. I haven't made beans this year. I don't even think I made beans last year, but I made it. Did I doubt it. Pinto beans are the only beans I will eat. I don't like black eyed peas. I don't like northern beans. Um, any other kidney beans, I do not like none of it. I love me some pinto beans, though. I really, truly love me some pinto beans with some chopped onion and a piece of cornbread on the side. I do put sugar on my beans, y'all. I really do. I put sugar on my beans. So I just got to take some beans and cornbread. I'm going to get these beans done early in the month, in the morning. I'm going to get them done early in the morning when I do do them, the day that I do them, because it's been being so hot. And I may try to find, look at the forecast and find the coolest day to kind of do them on. I also got two of these Roma tomatoes. I got two of these. You know I said I was going to do some kind of sandwiches this week. So I, I'm going to want some tomatoes on my sandwich. My husband do not like tomatoes. My husband don't like them. So, but I, I do like them. I probably have some children that that use these tomatoes with me also. I love me a good slice of tomato on my um on my sandwiches and um i really want to do me some fried green tomatoes so i'm gonna try to find some look like i might have to go to the farmer's market in order to get the green tomatoes right i need to try to get them while they're in season or while they're rolling all right hopefully i can get them soon this is a pepper pantry item i just got two of these tuna in water i just got two of them to supplement my pepper pantry so i'm, I'm gonna be trying to grab extra stuff to just put into the into the cabinets uh, along with our other stock so I did get two cans of tuna. We like ours in water. We don't never get the one in oil unless they just don't have nothing else. But some chunk tuna in water. All right, y'all. Nobody doing but is singing. I don't, uh, okay. Um. So I got two of these cans, a whole kernel of corn. I got two of them just to add to the pepper pantry. I got two of these French style green beans to add to the pepper pantry. So I grabbed two of these also. I think that this is the only I bought a rebate that truly came through for me today. I think it is. I think the Miracle Whip has 
a dollar and twenty five or a dollar and fifty cent. Re I bought a rebate on it, and I did get it because I need it for a meal that I'm doing this week. So I was glad to get it with some extra money back on it. I got one pack of hamburger buns. I always like to try to get bread to throw up into the freezer. Right now, we have a pack of hot dog buns out, so I'm probably just going to put these on into the freezer. And plus, I said I wanted to do some sandwiches this week, so I grabbed a pack of hamburger buns. Listen, right now, we we on a budget right now, but I do. I like a real good bun, you know, for my sandwiches and for my hamburgers, but for right now, this going to have to do. All right, I did get, I don't know what that is on there. I did get this purple onion. This is for my beans. I'm going to do purple onion for my beans. A lot of people will do the Vidalia or the uh, the white onion, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this purple purple onion. I got two of these wipes, baby wipes. You know, we use them around here a lot. Uh, when I go to Sam's Club today, I do plan on getting a big case of the wipes. I'm going to try to make sure I can fit that into the budget. I don't know what that is on there, probably from the onion. Uh, these got 80 wipes in them, though. A lot of the Huggies only have 56 64 some of them have 72 so that's not bad but these got 80 a piece in there and we would definitely use them we only we only use them and do away with them so yeah i've got some of these for the babies also got a big bunch of bananas i think it's about six in this one so i got a bunch of bananas and some strawberries and i plan on trying to get some grapes i just wanted to get a some uh, kind of fruit and then i got some peaches in the can and mangoes in the can and stuff so yeah, i got a little bit of fruit around here i just wanted to get some to cut up for the kids and for myself since i have i just have taste for a bowl a bowl of fruit cut up you know i got this five pound bag of rusted potatoes the potatoes are really one oven price but anyhow i'm on half in this and I got two more potatoes over here on top of the microwave. I'm going to half in this bag. So one half is going to be for one dinner and one half is going to be for another dinner this week. So I'm so glad to have the potato. I love me some mashed potatoes. And sometimes I cut these up and I fry them. I cut them up like into tater babies, fry them up, and we eat them with ketchup. That is the best, like the absolute best. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. I, I just really, I love them. Thanks, Duna. I was going to get two two more packs of this guy tissue. I only got one extra one. I'm steady stocking up and building up my health and beauty and household stockpile. So I just got another one of these add-ons. I'm trying to add one, two, or even three. Every week until I get the amount that I like in my stockpile. And I got six of these paper towels. Uh, these are like 60 cents at Walmart each. And with all six of these together, they are still cheaper than any six pack on the Walmart website. I just got these because we do when we use them, we utilize them and throw them out. But um, again, I'm going to Sam Club today. If there's enough money in the budget, this is going to be last on the totem pole. If I'm um, making get that big old member's mark, you know, pack of paper towel. That usually lasts us about two weeks. So I would need two of those a month. So. I have to work. I'm going to start working up to where I can do like a bit monthly, at least household and health and beauty. Huh? Do like that. At least for the household health and beauty. Uh, you know, I bought to be adding. Well, I'm, let me talk to y'all about the numbers. All right, you guys, today, um, this haul wasn't that much money. It was like $82, I'm thinking. It was like $82 for this haul. But I did get everything I needed for my meal plan. All right, and I know I got my meal plan right here. I was wrong for not taking it out before I started talking to you guys. But this haul was $82. I only got a dollar back from our body. That's what I'm expecting back. I had put, you know, it was $82. So, you know, normally I do between um, 100 to 130 bucks on my... And but you know without they they just took a lot of stuff off. They yanked off the um the bottle of water the cases of water I know and they took off the uh the Mountain Dew uh, twelve pack that I wanted and they uh the Werther's original popcorn you know it was just a couple of things the pop chips it was a couple of things that was on our body that they just was out of stock or else they just took it off said they didn't have it or whatnot. Uh, I am gonna go over the meal plan with you guys. Um, like I was saying about the paper towel, I might can get it at Sam's Club, but that stuff, it, it runs on up in the money at Sam's Club. I'm like, I, I'm oh, $150 budget at Sam's Club. I'm trying to be very, very, very tight. And my husband already done started a cart for about $100 already, so I only got $50 more really to kind of hit over there. But it may be a little more than that, between $150 and $180 at Sam's Club today. But anyway, that's all in a whole other thing. This was about $82. I only got like a dollar back from Ibotta today, but I normally do utilize my Ibotta rebates. Definitely. Definitely. So we're going to go ahead and go into the meal plan. The meal plan for this week is pinto beans. I got it in my hand, you guys. Pinto beans, cornbread, 
and wings two ways. I got a lot of chicken wings left. Y'all, as y'all remember, months ago, maybe about three or four months ago, we had got two big cases of chicken wings. We even gave my mom a case, and we still got plenty of chicken wings. We we got just enough for a pretty good amount for this last good dinner. So I'm gonna be doing chicken wings two ways with the pinto beans and cornbread. Pinto beans and cornbread. I, I think I remember fried chicken with that. My other time was he ain't never really had fried chicken with pinto beans and cornbread. I have. That's how my mom used to cook. Yeah, she used to do some. Um, some fried chicken legs or fried chicken um, thighs. And a lot of people don't like thighs and stuff. I love me a fried chicken thigh. I really do. But I got wings, so that's what I'm going to do with it, okay? Uh, and then the next meal is some other pork chop. Oh, I wanted some other pork chop. I didn't get the pork chop. I did not get the pork chop. I, but I or the turkey. I said smother pork chop or turkey. That was on, that's what's on here. But I ended up getting the thinly sliced chicken breast. I'm just going to... Uh, Sear them down. I'm gonna make sure they're real thin, and then I'm gonna sear them down, and then I'm gonna cover them uh, with gravy, smothered turkey breast. You know, uh, chicken gravy that's good too, with corn and mashed potatoes, y'all. Yeah, we're gonna be oh. good that day. And uh, then I got sandwiches and chips down. That's an easy day for me. Just some good sandwiches and chips that day. Uh, tuna pasta, which was carried over from last week because I never did do the tuna pasta. I never did do the uh, chicken noodle soup either. So I got two meals. You know, that can carry over. Um, and then I'm so glad about the carryover meals from your meal plan, too. God is good. I really like that. And then the last one is the salmon coquettes with mashed potatoes and green beans. You know, look, coquette patties I make up. Um, and Tip just asked me about it today. Me and her, we don't do the um, grocery uh, list together or nothing like that. So I got some salmon coquette on the uh, haul today, Tip. So I will be making some salmon patties with mashed potatoes and green beans. Again, beans and cornbread with some chicken wings, smothered turkey, smothered chicken, I'm sorry, smothered chicken, corn, and mashed potatoes, sandwich and chips, tuna pasta, salmon coquettes, mashed potatoes, and green beans. And I also have a chicken noodle soup that I need to do. And I have like soup crackers and saltine crackers to go with that. All right, y'all, that's my meal plan. I am so, I forgot I'm gonna have it up on the screen and I don't repeated it. Y'all, it's hot outside. I'm finna put more ice in this thing. It's more drunk in this thing. And me doing a bug and tip it. We're on our way to Sam Club. Thank you, guys. You guys remember to look in the comments. And the first comment going to have my link for this Walmart delivery. If you guys want to take advantage of Walmart delivery, go ahead. Go ahead. Use my link and you will receive a $20 off coupon on your first order. It's going to come to your email. All right, and if you want to sign up for Ibotta, you'll be saving money as you read. I'm going to do some Ibotta rebates probably at Sam Club also. You know, if I need something, I'm going to get something that got a rebate on it, you know? So that's how I utilize my Ibotta. Um, my code will also be in the first comment of this video. Thank you to all who have joined me through my Ibotta code. I can, it's numerous. I can't even count. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I had a few people, two or three people, signed up for Walmart grocery delivery. I'm very, very thankful for that. And every time, I got a $20 off my order also. So, you know, God is so good. But it's a win-win. We all win. We all win. Let's save some money on these groceries. Try to stay cool. And I thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for listening. And until next time, YouTube, stay blessed.